Hey everybody, it's Scott Bighead Biker. Uh, doing a little product review. These are the Gerbing uh, heated gloves. I'll put a description below for all of it. Uh, I had all this stuff from either Revzilla or Amazon. I've had these for a few weeks now without the controller um, and they're really nice gloves. Uh, the winter gloves I've had uh, I think I bought off Amazon quite some time ago, and they held up. They're great. I still got them. Um, but these are a tad warmer uh, without being plugged in. So we'll see how they are. Um, I have the Y plug. If you don't have a jacket, pants, or anything else, right now this is my first uh, electrically charged motorcycle gear. So uh, you need the Y harness so you can plug it into the controller and plug into each one of these. They just plug in right there. So I will do another review after I get everything hooked up. Uh, I ordered the uh, with the SAE end because um, I already have that to plug in. Here's just a single controller. They have all different options. This is just what I went with for now. So uh, stay tuned. So this is a few days later from my initial glove review. Um, I couldn't get them to power on that morning because I wasn't reading directions. But it came, or I ordered, I ordered a harness that hooks to your battery. Positive and negative there. Comes out to this. Shown here is the battery harness with the fuse adapter. Um, that also, with the directions, it shows what fuse to use according to what heated gear you're using. So it, you times all the, the uh, you add together how what the amp pull is on everything. So they make it really nice if you just take time and read the directions like I didn't do the first time. But once I get this hooked up, I did. So now it's protected uh, where the, just the battery tinder plug is not fusible. It doesn't have a fuse in it, so you could burn things up. That's it. Out to this cable. Has nice little weather cover on it. This plugs in straight to your controller. And then I ordered the Y cable to hook into your glove. So I have all that put together. Turned it on. It worked. Let me tell you. That's some hotness. It feels very good. So, so far, review is good. Uh, I'll take a ride or two when it's cold and see what it does. So my final thought on these uh, Gerbing heated motorcycle gloves is I love them. Um, overall, they're nice gloves just to start out with it without even plugging them in. And I said that earlier. Um, of course, they weren't cheap, so they should be nice gloves. Um, they are meant to plug into a jacket liner or pant liner. So the way I have them with the Y cord, I have a lot of cables hanging everywhere, which probably isn't the safest thing. Um, so I got to figure that out. Uh, I have a trip coming up another thousand miles uh, next weekend looks like rain for part of it and if you are any kind of you know all-weather biker like I am then you know that when it rains it gets cold regardless of the temperature so the temperature is supposed to be up a little bit in the 50s to the 70s but still with the rain so I will probably use those and it'll be nice to turn them on and have hot hands when usually they'd be cold so um like I said, overall, I haven't tried them in really cold climate yet, um, just because by the time I got everything hooked up, but I give them a, a good thumbs up, and uh, I look forward to adding to that um, accessory package uh, with the liners and, and everything else, uh, but I thought gloves was a good place to start, so thanks for watching. Um, look to do another review coming up on another item, so uh, 
Be sure to stay tuned, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care out there.